If you or someone you know is an English-speaking adult experiencing adjustment difficulties of a psychological, intellectual, social, or physical nature, and you're looking for some learning opportunities in preparation for further studies or work, well then Eastern Township's Adult General Education, or ITAJ, may have the program you're looking for. Hi there and welcome back to About Townshippers. This is a series where we really like to talk about the services and the programs that are available to English speakers in Quebec's Eastern Townships. And this is where you can meet the great individuals and the organizations that make those services possible. And in this episode, Steve Walker from New Horizons Adult Education Centre and Jessica Girard from Joblinks Employment Centre talk about how the individualized approach of their SIS program, the Social Integration Services Program, helps students develop the skills they need to integrate and to flourish in everyday activities while playing an important role in their communities. Well, good afternoon, Steve and Jessica, and welcome back to About Townshippers. Hi, thank you for having us. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah. Well, here we go. I got a quick question for you. Kind of a bit of an existential question because you guys do a ton of stuff at New Horizons. You have employment or employability services. You have a lot of educational programs and you have some social support as well. And Steve, this question is for you. Where does the SIS program fit into all of that? Well, it fits in really nicely at the New Horizons Center. Um, the SIS, which is the Social Integration Services Program, um, is basically for adults who are 16 years and over, who have uh, difficulties in, a, in adapting intellectual disabilities, et cetera, that um, for them, it is the same type of program as the SVI, which is the Social Vocational Integration Program. And they, in the SIS, go over different skills, uh, life skills, management skills, domestic skills. They look at communication as well. And they also look at mathematical, uh, mathematical skills. Uh, which is important for budgeting uh, because we do have some of these adults who um, are basically serviced in, they need adaptations uh, for them to see successes. And within these adaptations, such as living by themselves at one point, which is a goal of the Volet B with the SIS, is living in an apartment which is, uh, you know, under surveillance, but it's, um, it's an apartment that is, it allows them to use their budgeting skills, use their life skills that they've learned within this program. Okay, so it's, if I understand correctly, it's uh, it's preparation on a whole different, on many levels, not mm -hmm. only for further education, but for employment as well. It is because uh, a lot of their stages, they also do stage work um, and uh, the teachers with them uh, in their stages uh, for the whole day. So, for example, if they go and work at Renaissance, which is one of the partners that we have, then five or six of them will go to Renaissance to work for the day, and they'll have one or two teachers with them that are there to guide them and help them within the uh, work experience that they are offering to the, uh, the different clients that come in and also and to learn from the employers as well that are there to help, their, um, to help them in every type of situation that the, a job could uh, throw at them. Oh, okay. Super and they also do one thing I forgot to add, I'm sorry, but they also learn different things like sewing. They do some cooking here right on the center every Tuesday and Thursday. They cook the meals for the uh, for the staff. They cook the meals that are uh, that are, you know, for five bucks or six dollars. Every anyone can buy. So it's so they have like the, their own little kitchen um, and uh, and they do some workshops downstairs with the wood. They create different um, projects there. So it's really hands on uh, hands on guidance that uh, the teachers are amazing in the program and they really help each person uh, through and to find success through different adaptations. So, so it's basically well-rounded life skills, right? Very much so. That they're yeah. doing. Okay. Huh? Um, before we, we started the interview today, we talked a bit about the, uh, the Eastern Townships and the Estri area. And then these are areas that demographically and culturally are, are changing, you know, quite quickly. And with, there's a lot of people, therefore, that are looking to improve their language skills, whether they're French skills or English skills. And now you guys offer language courses, do you not? Yeah, exactly. So um, we've offered it for, for quite a while now. And actually, we have a new cohort starting in this fall. 
Um, so we offer uh, FSL, so French as a second language or English as a second language. Um, and these are offered uh, through two blocks every week. Um, so about two and a half hours per block. So five hours of either FSL or ESL classes per week. Uh, we're going to have a lot more details to come as we um, as we approach uh, September, uh, September, October. Uh, but yes, these are courses that we do offer uh, for the the individuals in the estuary region. Okay. Now I'm, I didn't we we hadn't talked about this earlier, but uh, I'm I, I'm sure there's one element that, or I am assuming that there's one element that that is encouraging or motivating you guys to offer more French courses, and that's the new Bill ninety six. They just went through. So I guess francisation courses are going to become that much more important. Well, it's really it's really important. And it's uh, good that you say that because Eastern Township School Board does talk about uh, bilingualism. And for us, especially with our programs that we have, yes, we do have the English and the French second language. But even in our programs like the SIS, the SVI, even with job links, everything is bilingual. So someone who is French speaking can come into the center and feel just at home uh, learning in their language, but also learning some of the English language as well uh, in these type of programs, because when you're working, when you're in the uh, society, it is it is important to have both languages. And for some of our students who are more English speaking, we do offer the Francisation in the programs because we find that it is extremely important that they gain as much knowledge in the French language, especially if it's tailored to their own work environment. How can they better themselves by feeling more comfortable being able to converse, being able to communicate with people uh, during their stage or during their job? And, uh, and then we can feel proud that we've been a part of that. And actually, yes, and with Joblings, uh, certain clients that, that may require some, some language classes and we'll then refer them to the center uh, or all depending on their needs, we might refer them to the center or somewhere else for full-time classes. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it's something that we can refer in given the, the greater and greater need for language classes. Yeah. And as, as we were mentioning earlier, whether it's in Quebec or anywhere in Canada, that's another super important life skill, right? Exactly. Having two or more or more languages. Oh, so lots, you guys are, as usual, you guys are offering lots of, lots of uh, uh, services in a very in inclusive way. Now, what is the best way for people to reach out, whether it's for the SIS program, for the language program, whether it's for the SVI program that we talked about in another episode, what's the best way to, to get in contact with you guys or who should we speak to? For more information, uh, individuals can just contact our secretary at the New Horizons Adult Education Center, um, and she can be reached at 819-566-0250, extension zero. And you guys have a Facebook page? We do have a Facebook page, yes. And the Job Links and uh, the Adult Ed Center. And we have a brand new web page that is uh, under construction right now, but will be coming out uh, very soon I, uh, from what we heard. So uh, we're really excited to see what it's going to look like. Oh, great. Well, then I'll put that all in the in the video details, as as we usually do. Now, Steve Walker, you're a teacher at New Horizons Adult Education Center, where you're also coordinator for the SVI program. And Jessica, you've been with us a couple of times now, and you are a guidance counselor at JobLinks. And you guys are a great team. Hopefully, we can do this. Uh, you guys, we can do this again in the future. So, thanks for uh, joining joining us for About Townshippers. Thank you, Ed. Thanks, Ed. Bye. Take care. Take care. And there you go. Now, to learn how you or someone you know can benefit from the services offered by Eastern Townships Adult General Education, either at New Horizons Adult Education Centre in Sherbrooke, Quebec, or at Campus Bon Missisco in Cowansville, Quebec, will you find all their contact information in the video description. And that's also where you're going to find all the contact information for JobLink's employment services. Now, to learn about other activities and services available to English speakers in the townships, well, it's pretty easy. Visit Townshippers Association's Facebook page, and we also have a website. And you can also catch up on all the other interesting episodes we've done right here on our Townshippers Association's YouTube channel. My name is Ed Humphrey. This is about Townshippers. We'll see you next time.